Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. Sorry this review is a day late, but I wasn't really up for working on videos yesterday. So, the first two episodes of season one have been fairly sci-fi-ish, but the previous episode, including this one, are a little bit closer to horror, or maybe horror sci-fi, and that's pretty awesome. Episode 4, Permanent Retirement, felt felt like I was watching some 50s horror movie like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Heck, I bet if I head over to the Ben 10 wiki, it'll say it was inspired by that movie. And yep, it says it shares themes with that movie and its novels, so I was correct, I guess. Or at least one of the editors over at the wiki agrees with me. I think it was that underlying horror theme throughout the episode that really made me enjoy it. I don't know what's been up with me lately, but I love horror a lot more than when I was growing up. Luckily, the part in a horror movie where no one believes the main character doesn't take up too much screen time in this episode, as Grandpa Max and Gwen pretty quickly turn around and believe Ben. But the biggest disappointment in the episode was the final reveal of who the aliens were, the Limax. Not yet, I'm not. <laughs> Up until this point, there were these insanely creepy body snatchers or doppelgangers who had crazy sharp teeth, creepy roars, and the ability to stretch, all while looking like a messed up version of the humans they were kidnapping for food. And in the end, they're just some translucent aliens? Boring. If you're going to go down a horror route, at least embrace that and give us a design truly horrifying. This, this was kind of a joke in my opinion. It looked silly. But like I said, everything else about the episode was great. Especially the introduction of Ghost Freak and how Ben drove around the neighborhood. That was probably the funniest part of the episode. Coming back around to the negatives though, some scenes didn't play out like I thought they would. See, when Ben and Gwen run into fake Grandpa Max, they barely react. They're everywhere! I know. Come here. I'll protect you. Let's get out of here! It felt very odd and it pulled me out of the episode a little bit. Honestly, that entire sequence of events wasn't exactly high quality in my opinion. And I guess that's my review of episode 4. Uh, I'm sorry the review probably isn't all that detailed. For some reason, I really struggled to write this one, even though I knew I liked the episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it either way, and I will definitely try better uh, for the next review. Also, make sure to check out my Patreon if you have the chance. I added a third reward tier, and I'm kind of proud of it. Uh, again, if you don't feel like it, you don't have to pledge anything. Thanks for watching, and take care.